Hello friends, <laughs> Techman Pat here. I hope you are well. I've got something really cool for you today. This is the Limo One. It is the, <laughs> the world's first rotary robot lawnmower and I get to check it out today, which is really exciting. I've heard some fantastic things about it. I know it can climb the craziest lawns and no obstacle is a challenge, but is it? We're gonna test it out, so make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started by rolling the intro. First impressions, this thing means business. The Limo One is solid and hefty, <laughs> weighing in about 35 kilograms with a sturdy aluminum frame for durability. It has a sleek and modern look in black and a little bit of red, but what really stands out is the tracks. They make it a rugged tank that isn't just for show. They give Line Mower 1 outstanding traction on all terrains, and it's the first mower I've seen that can climb slopes up to 45 degrees, which is a 100% grade without breaking a sweat. It can even roll over five centimeter obstacles like small roots or bumps, and those front Omni wheels help it hug the ground for consistent cutting. The whole build feels premium and tough. It's of course weatherproof for IPX6, so it can handle rain and sprinklers. Now the core selling point here, aside from the tank treads, is that unlike many robot mowers that use tiny little razors, Limo One packs real rotary mulching blades. Two of them, just like a full-sized lawn tractor, but of course scaled down. They spin at 6,000 RPM and cover 400 millimeters of cutting width, which is huge for a robot mower. And Limo calls this their lie cut system, and it's designed to tackle all grass types with ease. So in my weekly use, it chewed through everything from buffalo to cooch, only stalling when I pushed it into the ground via the settings here. So at 30 millimeters, it was eating the ground and literally digging in. So be careful. Now the dual blades mulch clippings really finely. And here's the cool part. There are high speed fans built into the deck that blow the tiny clippings down onto the lawn. This means no bagging and no raking after mowing. The 1200 watt peak output brushless motor has been a workforce and it mows about 930 meters squared per hour and roughly 2300 meters squared on a single charge. If you let it run multiple cycles in a day, it can cover up to 7,000 meters squared in 12 hours. That's roughly nine times the coverage of a typical robot mower in the same time. That easily handles large lawns and even complex yards in a day's work. Now, I was really impressed watching it methodically mow straight lines back and forth, rather than randomly bumping around to see where things are like many other robots. But speaking of methodically, there are plenty of settings you can adjust to get the perfect cut in the app, such as height that goes from 30 millimeters to 100 millimeters, perimeter overhang, path spacing, blade speeds, which I would suggest setting to max for best performance, stripe angle, moving speed, mowing pattern, all per mowing zone. While the app is not fancy, it has all the features you need, though you may need to look for them. They're not always easy to find. But once I set up all my zones, I found the app then finally pretty intuitive. In saying that, under the hood, it's another story. Of course, it uses the RTK v Slams navigation system, Limo calls it Lycee, that maps your yard to a centimeter level precision. And it comes with a small RTK base station that acts like a mini GPS tower in your yard. Plus the mower is on board visual slam cameras. And during setup, the Limo One drives around and scans and creates a digital map of your property. So it knows exactly where to cut and where not to. Then in the app, you can draw virtual no-go zones for your flower beds, for example, and set up multiple mowing zones up to 80 different zones and of course, different schedules. This is great for large properties where you have different zones at different times. Now, the obstacle avoidance on this robot is also top notch. It actually has AI vision that can recognize things like pets, toys, or even random objects, hoses, sprinklers, and pet waste. And then it can intelligently decide whether to avoid or mow over them. 
In my trials and tribulations, it slowed down and steered around my dog's chew toys rather than trying to mulch them, but it went right through a landmine my dog left. Now, complementing the cameras are five ultrasonic sensors all around the mower, also a bumper sensor there, of course. This multi-layered sensor setup means it sees and reacts to obstacles before bumping into them. And the Lima one surprised me how well it detected the edge of my garden. It just turned away just in time. The smart navigation also handles signal issues. If the RTK GPS signal gets weak, let's say under trees or in bad weather, the mower seamlessly falls back onto its cameras and internal sensors to stay on course. This means whether your backyard is massive, small or tree covered, the mower will still manage it. Now, powering this robot tank is a long-life lithium iron phosphate battery, and it's rated for about 2,000 cycles, meaning it should last many seasons. On full charge, I got roughly two and a half to three hours of mowing time, which matched the spec. Now, I imagine over years this may degrade, but luckily, unlike many others, the battery is removable. Huge props to Limo on that one. But when the battery gets low, the Limo One automatically navigates back to its charging dock, just as it should. And here's the good news. With the included fast charger, it juices up to 90% in 19 minutes. So if you have a huge yard or done a lot of work during the day, it will just go back, auto charge, and resume the cycle to cover the whole area without you having to intervene and overall, it means it reduces the amount of time it takes to do large areas. But let's talk about safety. After all, this has real rotary mulching blades. First off, if you try to lift it or it tips over, the blades stop almost instantly, under one second to halt from full speed. There's of course an emergency stop button here at the top in case something's going on. And it also uses GPS tracking to stop theft. And so if somebody tries to carry it off while it's armed, it'll scream and lock itself up. Plus, you'll get an alert on your phone. With that in mind, this is the first robot I have asked my kids to definitely not touch while it's on. And in my view, it'd be better to turn this on when everyone is out. It's just so powerful. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. But it does also have a little light at the top here, so you can run this at night. So is the Lima One worth it? Well, if you've got a big, complex lawn and you're over pushing a mower, or if you've tried those little razor blade bots that just don't cut it and you're spending and wasting time trying to get them to do the job you purchased them for, this is the upgrade you've been waiting for. So at around two and a half thousand American freedom dollars, it's a serious investment and it isn't a toy. The Limo One is the first robot I think I've tested that can genuinely replace a petrol or ride-on mower. It's a fully featured capable workhorse. Yes, setup takes a bit of time, mainly mounting the RTK base and letting it map your yard, but once it's done, it is a set and forget system. So the result, a clean, crisp lawn with no random turfs left behind. Huge thanks to Limo for sending this beast in for review. If this helped you out, smash that like button and let me know in the comments, is this the kind of robot mower you trust with your weekends? Hmm. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.